Hello Libra, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading and this will be for November 22nd through the 28th. I've already uploaded this week so this is for the week that is coming in. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We'll be using the Celtic Cross spread, just general messages here, whatever the universe wants you to know. For Libra, please. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We have the Queen of Wands here. Does not have to be a fire sign, but there's a lot of passion attraction with these individuals. The Three of Wands, some of you may be dealing with Aries or have Aries in your chart. The Three of Wands is coming as your situation for this week and is being crossed uh, by the Seven of Cups. We have Mars, I believe, here, or Sun in Aries. I believe it's Sun in Aries with Venus in Scorpio. Three of Wands crossed by the Seven of Cups, the Empress came here reversed. I don't do reversals, but this time I'm going to read it as both. And we're going to clarify. The Justice in the recent past. Wow, the Five of Cups. The Ace of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. The Hierophant. The Two of Swords. And the Tower as the outcome. Okay, let's let's see. What are we reading? Uh, right away, we're starting with some type of anticipation, some type of expectations here with the Three of Wands. Like y you know that something is about to come in, or you're expecting something. You are you are you have set those intentions. This Three of Wands is always when someone is like, okay, I know what I want. This is what I'm looking at. Is this coming towards me? engagement waiting from someone who knows and i'm saying this because waiting for someone because the seven of cups is dealing with some type of uh, dreaming here uh possibilities emotions all over the place especially the seven of cups here uh so interesting in the this particular uh deck is uh called that someone here that gets consumed by all these emotions which I've, i feel like i've i've had this card for you guys a few times now um, it's just, these are my expectations, but everything is, is coming here at the same time. And it's like kind of confusing you emotionally, especially, or when it comes to all these dreams, I want this, I, I dream about this. I get consumed. Uh, I'm, I'm like falling deep into these waters and not knowing where all of these, uh, emotions are coming in. Again, the expectation is there, but this is what's challenging it. It's like someone is saying, okay, what are you expecting? What do you want? What are you going after? Because the empress here, which usually is coming as growth, uh, is coming here as unconditional love in this situation with reversed or someone is looking that I cannot have this person or is coming that someone feels is like, I don't deserve this. I, I don't feel like, you know, um, I don't feel like this growth is something about seduction here that is going wrong here when it comes to your mind. Again, maybe because there's consequences or there's been consequences in the past. Seems like some type of drama here going on. Um, it's always right or wrong. You know, be careful what you wish for or be careful what you want. Or you have to balance between your heart here and your mind. So because of the this situation in the past of consequences or... Uh, balancing a situation you feel consumed here at the same time you, you you were expecting something you don't know what to do and that's why you have the five of cups a lot of mars energy though as well and scorpio by the way so i think for some of you or you have scorpio placements in your chart which is going to affect you with this uh, lunar eclipse in Taurus but uh, you feel like no matter what is there's the five of cups here there's something about missing here or this thing feels like an emotional loss or regret or maybe you feel like you and this person are not going to be together there's um, an unspoken situation here that is going internally now this is completely changing because the immediate situation is that there's a spark that is coming here. There's a passion. There's a new beginning. It's just that startup is the potential that is coming towards you. I don't know if someone is coming that you know um, or these expectations that you have here that finally, okay, this is the moment you have. 
but it's so interesting and really i feel like this lunar eclipse is affecting a lot of signs because especially if you have fixed um signs because look you have the five of cups as how you think this is going to be possible again regrets loss crying over a situation and in your attitude you have the five of pentacles which again crisis we have um scorpio and taurus here in your thoughts and in your behavior you feel something here will be left out or someone will be left out there's not i don't know why you don't feel in a way that this happy ending for you is going to have someone else being left out or you there's a certain sense of neglect or abandonment what you don't see here taurus uh, external to you by the way is the hierophant so th there's something here that is supposed to happen there's something from the divine or there's a lesson here there's a faith um mostly i see the heart of an external to you what the universe wants to tell you someone also believes in you and has faith in this situation but again because in the past always was something about consequences um doing the right thing the hierophant kind of uh says that yes this is the right thing this is something that is supposed to happen we're going to clarify and see exactly what that is but right now i'm getting some type of lessons i'm getting faith and belief in this situation because you believe everything is happening and there's a lot of crisis here going on you're also in your hopes and fears you have the two of swords again what are you waiting here with the two of swords is someone that is looking at this information and was like i don't know what's my next step i don't know what to do moon in libra well no, if you don't, even if you feel like you cannot do anything and you're going to feel overwhelmed, there's something here that is supposed to happen. There's going to be this chaos, this unpredictable event. I don't know who had this. Was it, um, was it Leo? I feel like it was Leo. I'm not sure. Um, but the tower, the best possible outcome, which I feel like you have a few major arcanas here, is that this build up, whatever has happened, is coming down, is crashing down there's no holding here this anymore unexpected now because of this ace of wands for some of you i feel like a new passion unexpectedly you feel like this is over or you feel like okay this is done well that's not the case okay so let me get the clarifications here and see what is the three of wands what is the three of wands please one more Venus in Aquarius these expectations are very conflicted here that you have there's some type of you feel like no matter what again guys the fives here are all over the uh, place that the fives are about the crisis the tower feels like okay the crisis need to happen that's change but these expectations are that feels very conflicted feels like someone here or will be defeated or there's other motivations here that someone may be feeling like mm, is this the right motivation do i should i want this i don't know if it's even conflict of interest because of those consequences that you have here but what you're waiting or whatever whoever is waiting here feels that there's conflict conflict about love conflict about wanting something desiring something what is the seven of cups one more the page of pentacles i feel like these possibilities are you and someone here um having a conversation there's some type of information that needs to be relayed someone is dreaming of all these possibilities regarding reaching out the expectation that someone feels conflicted i don't know if someone is dreaming of love and it seems like there's something i'm sorry my voice <laughs> and it seems something else here needs to be more practical more well thought out like okay i cannot go here and get myself in these deep waters i have to think about it um it's like someone is trying to contain it the empress here please tell me about the empress empress reversed one more yeah there's a lot of burden here someone is burdened by this passion it feels too much it feels like there's no growth here there's and when i say no growth again because there's a lot of conflict regarding what you want or how you go about this situation what is this one more 
Okay, there's a 10 and 10. There's an happily ever after that feels like someone should not pursue it or it feels again, I don't know if someone feels selfish to want this. It's too good to be true or, you know, there's other burdens, other baggages, but that's why, guys. That's why someone here is very conflicted. What is the justice here in the recent past? One more. There was a hot and cold here situation. There was passion, there was chemistry, but there's also someone that had to walk away. So I'm getting in and out, like someone going between, you know, something again, as I mentioned, balancing between the heart and, and the mind here, uh, trying to find this way. Here we have that passionate energy. I want to go after this situation, but also we have someone that felt like maybe I need to walk away. So I feel like certain things had to happen here. Maybe for some of you, someone walked away because it was the right thing to do, especially if there's been some type of, again, some type of baggages or someone was not in, uh, consistent here. There was someone I feel like decided to turn away because that was the right thing to do with the justice. So what is the five of cups? Why do you think the five of cups here? One more. Hmm. The Queen of Pentacles now. What is this Queen of Pentacles? One more. I feel like someone feels like a person here moved on, turned their back. Look at the tower. <laughs> I don't know if in your mind or in your thinking here, I don't know if you are the Queen of Pentacles because I'm getting some type of strong, strong Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo for some of you, but strong Taurus especially, uh, and Scorpio. I have Pisces as well. It does. I have all the signs really, but um, because of the Empress here, there's someone, again, that is unavailable here or has moved on and the person is pining. It's like, oh, I'm never th this. I don't know if, it's like to me, it's like, in, in the mind here, you're thinking. I don't know if you feel like, again, that you have to walk away from this person or you felt this person walked away and that you feel like no matter what, I regret it. There's a cert certain sense of regret. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. One more. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. A lot of times here. There's a new beginning regarding a relationship here for you guys. Commitment. What is this? One more. But it's coming with struggle. There's the three of wands. This new beginning has to do regarding some type of struggle regarding a commitment, family issues. It looks like something new is coming in. And there's the other five, five as well. A lot of fives change is coming for you guys uh and i feel like life changing for some of you with a tower is going to completely whatever is this journey here whatever in the past has been inconsistent or someone tried to walk away is saying there's a new potential that is starting it's just this is the 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 beginning why your behavior is but it has to do with some type of struggle uh, regarding a family and now there's something new that is starting regarding marriage or, or your relationship with this person why the five of pentacles one more why you have this is that there's love here for you libra but you feel like you are going to be left out or there's no way here in your mind that this thing is going to go through There's the beautiful Ace of Cups, but it's coming with the Five of Pentacles. Again, this is Mercury and Taurus. It's just your mind here thinking that maybe, you know, I cannot open up. I cannot be vulnerable. I'm going to be, you know, left out or I'm going to um, to go through a financial crisis for some of you. I feel like it has to do with this thought of, you know, being left out when it comes to this connection. That's just your attitude. Why the Hierophant, please? One more. Wow, okay, 
strong, strong Taurus energy. No, you should not feel guilty. No, this is not something here that should burden you. Because he's saying the Hierophant, by the way, and the Empress, this is like really someone that truly looks at this Empress with a lot of love, a lot of loyalty, a lot of dedication. Beliefs is not just physical, by the way, it's spiritual as well. But external to you, this love, I feel like this love is blessed. That's how I see it. And there's growth. Tell me about this very beautiful and again, very, very Taurus energy. Um, why you have the two of swords here? One more. Okay, you feel stuck. You're fearful that nothing is going to happen. That you're going to be stuck there. There's not going to be a decision. And you're going to be trapped in your thoughts. Kind of this jail mentality. That's what you're fearing. Because again, there's something here that you're expecting. And you're fighting with it. And you feel conflicted about it. But at the same time, you... It's some, some type of information that you feel, you know, I want to go about it. So what is this tower? One more. Wow. There's healing for you guys. Whatever has happened, I feel like with the temperance, this is something. Look at this. You have moderated for a long time. And it feels like, I feel like the borders are wide open. That's how I see that with, um, I, I cannot hold it anymore. I cannot control it anymore. I feel like I don't want to with the temperance at the tower there, because again, this is clarifying something that has been going back and forth for some time. Um, it's, it's now, I feel like the chaos is wide open here. What is this? A lot of majors, by the way. One more. It is about the reconciliation, guys. Someone is coming, expressing their feelings. Someone that has been longing, that has been kind of having to hold back. You're going to receive some type of news or, again, something is going to change. You and someone else have been going back and forth, back and forth, trying here uh, to stay patient, to heal. A lot of healing, by the way. And again, I do feel this is a life change experience for you especially because it's coming with a healing. Some type of reconciliation and healing uh, it is coming sudden, it's coming unexpected, or it's coming as something that has been built up and now it's time, you know, to open up. No more holding back here, no more feeling that you have to suffer or that you will be abandoned or left out. Uh, it is the initiation here of something big for you. We will see, for those that are interested in the extended, what's going on with your love life and who's coming towards you, you can find the link in the description box below. Thank you, bye-bye.